Hi again and welcome to aquaheat.org.uk. My name is Steve. Today we're taking out a boiler in uh, Ballon Tooting area. We're taking out a high flow, which is put in a flat, top floor flat, ridiculously too big to put into this size of property. I think the builders at the time were trying to do it cheaply so they put use the same boiler. So this is the one we're taking out, which is the high flow. And we're going to be putting in a uh, glow and flexicon, which is We've got like we're restricted for space here, so we've got the eaves coming down, so it's a really good boiler for fitting in that space. So um, come back and see us later when we fit in that boiler. Thanks. Hi again, and welcome back. And uh, here we are on the next part of the installation. We've removed the old boiler, the old uh, high flow, Worcester Bosch high flow, and as you can see, it's all opened up. Uh, we're going to try and reuse that existing flue hole. Uh, we've used in the um, Glowworm Flexicon 24CX uh, because one of the beauties about it is it's got a rear flue outlet. It's really good for these small room applications. Um, and we're going to try and marry up the existing pipe work here back in. So um, that's as far as we've got so far. And uh, yeah, that'll be it for now. And come back and see us uh, after this when we've got it all installed and all up and running. Thanks very much. Hello again and welcome back to aquaheat.org.uk So we're at the final stages of this installation and as I say we took out a Worcester High Flow 440 it was an old beast of a boiler to be quite honest um, and uh, far too big for this property removed the boiler, created a lot of space in here so if you just look in this cupboard here we fitted in this one a Glowworm Flexicom 24CX and uh, very uh, compact boilers these are, uh, ideal applications for fitting into um, kitchen cupboards and they've got the uh, exceptional uh, plus benefit of the fact that they flew out the back rather than on the top which most conventional condensing type boilers do. So that gives us a bit more height in here and we can still make sure we've got enough space underneath to do our pipework connections and uh, that's it really. We've drained the system, flushed the system, we put inhibitor in the system, stop other sludge from building up. Uh, and with this particular job, um, we fitted a wireless stat we've got here. So we've got the receiver here, and then outside here, we've got the programmable room stat. This is a Drayton uh, free RF. So we set the temperature and the time to our central heating on here and uh, as I say this is wireless. And that's it really. So a nice straightforward job, create a lot more space in that area and uh, a much more efficient system. It's just a condensing boiler and uh, if you'd like information about this or another job please drop us an email to info at aquaheats.org.uk and I'd uh, be pleased to help. Thank you very much.